Jared Poland. Fro knows photo.com here with a super secret project video for how to export your file your image at a certain size uh, when we ask for people to send us a file that's 1000 pixels on the longest side sometimes people don't understand how to convert that file they can do the full res file they sometimes send the raw file which i usually don't want because that's too big of a file. It's a 25 megabyte file sometimes that they send. Uh, I don't want the highest res JPEG. Um, what we're really asking for at times is a file that would be, for example, a thousand pixels on the longest side. Uh, what, why we ask for that is because it's usually a smaller file, but still can be displayed very well on the screen. So I'm going to do this in Lightroom, Photoshop, and I just figured out how to do it in iPhoto, which is a program that I've never used. So if we can do it in those three programs, you can do it in Elements, you can do it in Picasa, I'm sure. So all of these other programs, they're all going to be pretty similar. So we have a photo here. Photo. It's a photo of me. Yep, that's me in a cowboy shirt. Not a Dallas cowboy shirt in my awesome vintage shirt. But anyway, this is about how do we get this photo to be a thousand pixels on the longest side. So we're going to go to export. Uh, I already actually have a preset for this, but I'm going to hit export. And then right here, we have the different settings. What does it say? It says image sizing, resize to fit, width and height. So I have it set to be a thousand on the width or to be a thousand on the height. It's going to be one of them. Uh, I have it set that way because I want it to be the longest on either one of those sides. If it's a vertical, I want it a thousand high. If it's a horizontal, I want it a thousand wide. So here it's it's knowing which way the photo is oriented and it's going to export it that way. I have the resolution set at 300. I know Greg probably leaves it at 240 or a lot of people say that the resolution doesn't matter, but whatever. I, I leave it at 300. That's where I've always left it. Um, I have the format to be a JPEG. I have it set to be sRGB because that seems to be the best space to use when you're going to print your files or put them online. Um, you can limit the size of the file if you want to export it that way in terms of uh, megabytes or kilobytes is what they have here. You can also come cut back on the quality. So do you want it at 100% which is a full, re a full resolution uh, quality? You can always pull back. These are ways of shrinking the file if you want to email it or things like that but i leave it at a thousand pixels on the longest side and really you just hit export and you've done everything that you need to make that file a thousand it's exporting right now it's going to pop up in a second and open the folder open the folder not open the folder so it's not opening the folder but i'll go and do it generically so here it is Here's the file we just exported. It's 459 kilobytes. So it's a thousand pixels on the longest side. I can probably hit get info and let's see if I am right and wrong or wrong. Dimensions, a thousand pixels high, 665 pixels on the other dimension, which is wide. So it's giving you the, it's automatically figuring out the other dimensions that's exactly what you want so now I'm here in Photoshop with a full res JPEG as I exported it before how would I change the image size to be a thousand pixels on the highest side or on the longest side in this case well I am going to yep right here with you can see it's not it's 2832 wide by 4256 high so all I have to do here you see this right here Describes the size of the document in pixels. Yes, I get that. It's constrained. So we're they're tied together. So if I change this, it's automatically changing that. If I make this a thousand, it's gonna make this longer because it's fifteen hundred and three because it's a longer size. So I want this to be one thousand. You can see that it's changing the width to sixty six sixty-five automatically, and I hit OK, it resizes the image, and then I would just go file, save as and save it as a JPEG to my desktop. Well, we'll just do it. Let's save it. I'm just going to make it a 111 just for the time being. You can see the different JPEG options. 
So depending on what I'm doing, if I'm uploading it to something like Facebook, it may be a 6. If I want it to be a higher quality 12, then it would be a 12, but that file is going to be much larger. So after this, we'll leave it at, well, let's say 6. So I hit OK. I go to my desktop, and here is that file. I hit Get Info, and there you can see that it is I can't see that far the screen is way too big a thousand pixels by 665 and it's only hundred and eighty KB because we shrunk it to a, a quality six so there we just did it in Photoshop now how do we do it in iPhoto here's the photo how do we do this well under edit under edit under file there's export file export look at this it's just right here right here on the longest size, you type it in, it's a maximum of a thousand, so it's going to be a thousand pixels. It's kind, you want it to be a JPEG. JPEG quality, do you want it to be low, smallest file size, medium, high, or maximum? We'll leave it on medium. It's going to use this file name. I don't know where it's going to export to yet, so I'm going to hit export. And there we go. It's asking me where I want to put it. I'm just going to put it on the desktop. I'm going to make it file 22222 it's exporting the file is now officially exported and here we go here it is get info and look at this it is 1000 by 665 so and it's only 78 kilobytes so wow that made it a really small low quality file but as you just saw i used three different programs to do the same thing Lightroom, I exported it at a thousand pixels on the on the highest side. I'm sorry, longest side. I did the same thing in Photoshop, and I did the same thing in iPhoto. So you can do it in all the programs. So that's really it. That's how you resize your image for sending it at a certain dimension. So when you change one, it usually ties in with the other. I hope that helps, and it should work that way in just about every program, because as you saw, I just did it in three different programs, and it was all really basic, and it was all about the same. So now you guys know what we mean when we say, send us a picture that's only a 1,000 pixels on the longest side. There you go. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. See ya!